Hey, it's Ragdar, and I am trekking real hard, also I'm super low on health, in search of Ilya, whose scent I found in the last episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Also in the last episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, every enemy in the whole goddamn realm of Hylia, of Hyrule, decided that they were going to attack me all at once, and even though the combat in this game is generally usually pretty easy for some reason, I got my ass totally royally handed to me by a group of enemies that just kind of were like, hey, we're all going to attack you at once. I hope you like being attacked by many enemies at the same time, because we love attacking you with se many enemies at the same time. But now I'm actually killing, I'm trying to kill some enemies in hopes of them dropping hearts, but nobody's making my dreams come true. But in this episode, I will be heading towards the province of Lanayru in hopes of s tracking down Ilya because her scent led me here. Although, admittedly, I just was not tracking her scent as I was running for a while. So who knows, maybe it suddenly veered... Okay, nope. I was about to say, maybe her scent suddenly veered off. And I've been going in the horribly wrong direction. But clearly her scent did not suddenly veer off and I'm not going in a horribly wrong direction. Dude, you know what really did the damage to me in the last episode? Was these things, except for they were like archer versions of these things. And so they were dealing like a shit ton of archery damage to me. Oh, like that. Like this guy. Yeah, this is this is the guy that was dealing all the damage to me because with as the wolfie, they're very hard to dodge their flame arrows. Get up and die. Get up and die already so I can get your sweet, sweet hearts. Dude, these guys, I guess they're sort of like, uh, heartless, because they don't have hearts. But, no, seriously, these guys actually don't have hearts, which is extremely annoying to me right now. So, I guess, instead of focusing on my ridiculously low health, I should instead just be focusing on getting to Ilya and hoping that maybe someday I'll get my health recharged by something... Although, if there's combat waiting for me up on this bridge, I might be in dire trouble. Alright, attack everything! Oh my gosh, it's happening again! All the enemies at once, except for not really. It's not even close to happening, like, again, as though it happened the first time. Although, I am down to one uh, quarter heart of health, so I need to currently do really well in this fight in order to not get a stupid game over right here. This would be such a dumb place to get a game over at. Alright, drop a heart. Seriously, something drop a heart. It's so dumb that I'm at one quarter of a heart of health right now. I feel like such a noob for being at like just a random part of the game just walking around at one quarter heart of health, but whatever. We're back. We're finally... I guess I shouldn't say we're back. I should say we're finally at the town. And the town is the area that I've been wanting to clear the twilight from the most. Because I think the town has the most potential secrets and upgrades for me to attempt to get things such as wallet upgrades. Which is, if there is one thing that I would say I'm definitely the most interested in, it would be wallet upgrades. But these people, see these people can't help me find wallet upgrades. Because... They are whatever. Let's see. I heard they want to take into the bar on the other side of the road. The bar? You mean Telmo's place? Right? Well, I don't even know why I'm talking to these losers. These losers can't help me. And this guy won't even talk to me because I can't face him proper. Whatever. Let's continue. Let's not even worry about people here. My biggest concern right now, especially since I'm the wolf, which means I have a limited amount of things I can do at the moment, my largest concern should probably be finding... Ilya. I actually do feel like one thing I've noticed is that the wolfen portions of the game are definitely a lot more linear than when you're a human. And I feel like just the reason for that is basically because as wolf, you know, wolves don't, he can't use bombs and shit like that. Whoa. She went into the bar and then she went out of the bar? And over this way, apparently... Oh, I mean, well, that's just a theory, but it does look as though she went in somewhere, and then out somewhere, and then back again. And I can't get into that building, so I'm just gonna have to hope that wherever she went after she went to the bar was a good enough place for me to find her at. Wait, what? What the fuck? 
Now the game is, dude, this is, this is the wildest, oh, oh no, okay, here we go. Wild goose chase over. I was about to say, this is the wildest of wild goose chases. But then I realized it was no longer a wild goose chase, but in fact, a chase of actually see, whoa. Dude, there's like guards here. And oh, there's the collapsed Zora boy, I believe. Let's talk to the people with the collapsed Zora boy. All right. Oh, and Ilya, I didn't even, duh, that's more important than a collapsed Zora boy. Duh. How could I not have noticed that Ilya was here? This boy, can you save him? All right, little lady, try to settle down, okay? I just need to send for the doctor. But this is strange, a child of the Zoras. I wonder if this is all related to the incident the soldiers were talking about in the back. Ooh, that em what an emotional reunion. Yes, a girl and her wolf. Sorry, but you know how it goes. These folks can't see you either. These folks can't even see me. I'm never gonna... Which is good, so I don't have to worry about sneaking around when I come talk to these guys. We've had a ton of complaints from citizens who can't send prayers to the spring spirit of Lake Hylia. Go there. The location is on uh, the one I showed you earlier on the map. Got it? Okay, so now we need to look at the map. What? Study it and know it well. All right, check the map. Now I can study it and know the location well. I've received orders from above to investigate. Why can't we... Why we can't go to the spirit spring in Lake Hylia. Got that? All right, so I need... To go there, I guess, is probably the only solution I can currently think of in my life is to go here, because that's where the game seems to be commanding me to go. All right, so, uh, talk to these guys once more, but I think now I guess my best option is going to be to go there. I told you, the citizens have said they can't, okay, whatever. Cool, and now he's going to say study the map well. Yes, I'm sorry, I triggered this thing to happen a second time. Alright, well, I guess now that that's been done, I suppose there doesn't seem to be much else to do in this old bar aside from head for where they said. I guess let's talk to these guys again and see if anything happens. I doubt it. See him suffering like this. He'll be alright, little lady. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're just so... They will just repeat their same scenes over and over again, I suppose, until you go do new things. So now that I've tracked down the scent of Ilya, at least we know she's safe. So now it's time to stop worrying about her smelly scent and start worrying about... Let's look at the ma map. Oh my gosh, there's another baby. No pushing. If you want hot spring water, form one line. That's actually going to be important for quests later on, I believe. But, uh, shit. Alright, so the best way it appears... Well, wait. Is this a good way? Is is going south out of the town? I guess going south out of the town might be a good way. Oh, nope. Going south is definitely not a good way, because all these assholes are going to block me. So I suppose my best option, my best option route, is going to be heading east out of the town. And then hopefully that will not let me down in the long run. Sadly, I don't have a nice scent to follow anymore of what I should be doing. There's no smells to follow. All I have to do is follow guesses. And my best guess is that I need to be going towards a dot on the map. And if that's not the case, then I'm going to be totally fucked. So, oh, crap. These guys are here again, and I'm still at... Let's just dash. Screw fighting anything. I'm just going to wait till... I find a fairy or something that can recharge my health. I... gosh, I've never been so hurt in my life. Grass, please hear my prayers. Hear my wolfen prayers that I need a heart. Because I'm gonna get murdered if I don't have a heart. Whoa. Oh, crap. This area does not look promising, to be 100% honest. All right, let's check out the map again. Shit, no, check it out like this. All right. Yeah, okay, I went the wrong way. This area is not promising, and in fact, just has more enemies prone to damage me. And I am very prone to damage in my current sad state. Oh, there was not, there's rupees that dropped from the grass. Definitely not hearts, but rupees are a start. That's more items than I was getting to drop from the grass before. All right, this is totally the way. Not some random way off to the side. Dash, 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 wolf. You gotta live long enough to not die. Alright, cool, cool beans. 
Oh, dude, we're just unlocking more long areas of wolf. And I hate that once these guys are on the uh, ground, there's no way for me to, like, kill the... Oh, dude, this guy is gonna ruin me if I let him get more shots off with his bow. Seriously, those bow and arrow guys, they ruined me before. They're gonna be the dudes that are gonna wreck me again if I'm not careful, so... I have to be the most careful about the bone arrow guys. And now, whoa, whoa, what does the sign say? Lake Hylia's newest hangout, Fire and Falby's Watertop Land of Fascination. Head right for a flight uh, for the flight by fowl main attraction. Um, well, the thing, the attraction that I'm looking for is oh, I'm apparently going the right way because I've triggered a scene. Clearly, triggering scenes means you're doing the right thing. Or at least, as far as I've known in video games in the past, when you trigger scenes, it means something's happening correct. And there's... Whoa! The lake is dry. Oh my gosh. The lake probably shouldn't be dry. That's probably not good for a lake to not have water in it. That means it's not a lake at all. Well, whatever. Let's cross the bridge. Dude, the bridge looks like it's got something weird about it. Maybe these are puddles of water? What the? Dude, this bridge does look really strange right now. Hey, do you smell anything funny? No. But apparently, oh yeah. Enemy battle. Oh. This dude's gonna fuck me. Oh, there's oil on the bridge. Yep. I was about to say, the stuff on the bridge is a, some sort of... I figured out the puzzle. Now that I'm dying, I figured out the puzzle. Oh wait, so now... Oh, okay. I remember, this is the, the game's way of forcing me... Get out of here! Yep, this is the game's way of being like... Uh, we need to... Damn it. No, don't get on. That's a great way to die. Is this even timed? I wonder, like, if I wait here long enough... Yeah, the flames are definitely approaching me, okay. I'm not even going to take the risk with that. It does appear that if I just sit there and be like, Hey, there are flames. Do you guys just want to hang out and talk? Or do you want to burn the shit out of me? I'm getting the feeling that the answer is those guys want to burn the shit out of me. All right. Lake Hylia. Just like the Lake Hylias of old. Lake Hylia has a weird looking laboratory thing all up on the side of it. There was a close one. We're lucky. There's a puddle down below, huh? So, this is Lake Hylia, but there's so little water. It sounds like Spirit Spring should be somewhere around here. Anyway, let's take a look around. Luckily, I have a map that tells me how to get to places. Although, clearly, if the water... It appears as though if the water level were much higher, that, that the Spirit Spring would be much easier to get to than it is in my current state of affairs with the water level ridiculously low. But that doesn't mean I can't do something about it. I can totally get there and all I have to do is look around and use my computer in my brain that is attached to my eyes so I can see what the fuck I should be doing. I guess I'll go to this building since it appears to be the only place as of current that I can go to. Although, you know what? You know what? Pots, oftentimes... Oh my gosh! Oh, I'll never be hungry again! Alright, let's talk to... Well, not talk to this guy, let's listen to him. Hmm, I'm too old for this. Fire and Falby's Watertop Land of Fascination is our grand reopening at a new Lake Bottom location. Wee! Hmm, yeah, nice lake. Don't lakes have more, I don't know, water? Do the Zoras who live up river do something? Or is it the curse from that spear that floats around up there? Whatever. It's not like I can go up and complain. That's way too high. What? Was that a customer? Yikes! Alright. Oh, maybe I should go... Where did he see... Where did he look when he saw that monster? I guess he was looking over this way. I suppose it could be possible that I have to go defeat this monster. Oh, yep. That triggered something, alright. It's a customer! Huh? <gasps> Oh, wait, what? Is he going to use the falcon, the falcon against me? I thought me and Falcon were supposed to be friends. This is bullshit. Me and Falcon were supposed to be friends. 
And now he's using Falcon against me. Oh, he's summoning like a Dark Evil's Falcon, though. Clearly, it's not the type of Falcon I would have expected. Oh, and this is quite possibly a boss battle. A customer! Alright. Alright, Falcon. Jump! Oh, crap. He hit me. Um, sensing doesn't do anything. I guess I gotta wait for him to do some kind of attack where he comes lower. I can't really see any other solution here. Are you gonna do- oh yeah, he's gonna do a nice descent- oh crap! He got me though! And this has like really creepy weird music for this fight. He totally- that thing totally got me, alright. So I guess I just have to dodge his flaming arrows of death. And then when he comes down in for- when he swoops in for the kill, I have to in turn swoop in for the kill. Alright, swoop in for the kill, buddy. Alright, ugh! No, 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 attack! 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 Damn it! That didn't work out at all. That was a horrible attack. Alright. I don't understand. Oh, you know what I could do? I could, when he swoops in for the kill, do this. I'm gonna say it's a controller issue. I blame the game. Alright, see? Come down here. I'm gonna jump on you. Alright. Jump! There we go! Now it's working. Finally. I was, like, wondering why my only strategy that seemed possible didn't... Because I... I totally hit jump before, and the game just decided to, like, not let it slide. But, see, now the game is letting jump slide all over the place. And now this customer is going to get murdered. All right. You dead. You dead, bitch. Get back up so I can kill you. Get back up so I can kill you. All right. Now... All the problems in the world are solved. I'm sort of wondering if there was a reason for me to beat this thing. Ooh, maybe she can control- what? Hey, stop! I'm your master now. Settle down. Hey, why don't we use this guy to get all uh, up to Lake's water source? Let's do it! Let's totes do it. That's the way to go. I was kind of looking around wondering how the game expected me to do that, but... That's the thing about video games. They always provide a way for you to get done what you need to do. Oh, I think this is a, a, the upcoming part is actually I'm gonna be in control of the bird. Yep. Oh my gosh. So here I can do a little dash. I am not interested in what this part of the game has to offer at all, but I presume I'm gonna need to be dodging things quite readily. And I think you take damage in this part just from like touching, um, just from touching things that, like, walls. So, I'm just gonna try and dash as much as possible. Oh no! Look at that, if you get low enough, these menacing rocks aren't menacing at all. In fact, they're quite friendly rocks. Very easy to battle. Oh my gosh, this is the craziest wind battle I've ever had. It's not nearly as much fun. Actually, I say this in all seriousness. This battle is not nearly as much fun as riding Flutter or whatever the, uh, Fizzler. There's something that you ride in Super Mario Galaxy. Um, he's always really, he's like really shy and it's just like this big old crazy ass bird that you fly on. Oh my gosh, we're gonna make it. I'm seconds away from the end. All I have to do is not get hit by, oh crap, no. Gosh, I was like right here at the end. I didn't know that hitting one dude would make me fail, or just like hitting one wall would spell utter demise and utter misery for my destiny. But apparently hitting one wall in this little thing, even though it's not a particularly challenging part of the game, if you fuck up once like that, you have to redo the whole thing. So I feel very stupid for messing that up. That was not a smart thing. Oh, look at that. There's a stone to make so I can go learn more moves later now that I'm at Upper Zora's River and the game appears to want me to speak with that particular spirit. We're already here? That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, where's the village of the Zoras? Let's look for it. It's getting cold. Hurry up. Alright, so I'm actually going to... I think that it is a fantastic time for me to end this episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the next episode, I will be searching for the Zora's village. This has been Ragtar. Thank you for watching.